Howdy folks, Doc here with Last Best Tool. And I've been thinking a lot about the packout systems. I think packout is kind of the generic term now, as well as Milwaukee's uh, kind of trademark name for this stuff. I don't know, tool luggage, modular, um, mobile tool systems or something. But everyone seems to make one if they make tools. I mean, there's t Tough Build here, there's DeWalt, Ryobi makes one, Craftsman, Klein. I mean, you can go on. There's seems to be an explosion in this area, but one of the things that's obviously a problem is that they are all individual as far as um, how they fit together. Each one only fits with its own unless you get into some of the platform stuff, like Milwaukee makes plates that you could screw into the bottom of your Craftsman one, and then, then you could snap it into your pack out. But there seems to be a little bit of like ecosystem paralysis. Which one do you go with? Milwaukee's is not the cheapest, it's not the most expensive either, and sometimes it's on sale at, at the retailers, but uh, there are a lot of others, and sometimes those are on sale, but it's not really a functional platform if they don't snap together, and I've started using these things for everything, um, not just tools, but I use them for, for different equipment, especially if it needs you know some protection. I'm building one out for a hunting trip. Um, it'll uh, ride in the back of the truck. I mean, there's all kinds of different applications for these. I use them overlanding, camping, even just storing stuff here. I've done other things. I filled one with water when I needed something. I needed a bucket and didn't have one. Um, the first pack out thing I got was actually a vacuum cleaner. And uh, it had some, you know, pack out attachment uh, points on it. And I started thinking, you know, that's I guess now I'm part of the Milwaukee ecosystem. That's where I was going to wind up anyway. But then I picked up a couple other things, um, small sizes, and snapped those in. I don't really use them snapped in near as much. Um, sometimes I use the small um, kind of organizers snapped into lids. But there's sort of an ecosystem paralysis is what I call it, where you aren't sure if you should get one because are you going to benefit from it because... It doesn't matter if you just have one piece. It's that second piece that really defines when you've joined that, that say, pack-out ecosystem. So I wonder if there's a need for, like, a gateway drug by the companies uh, to get you into their system. And remember, it's that second piece that, that defines it. Anyone can have one piece. They're all handy. But you don't notice there's a problem until you get that second piece and there's incompatibility. So I started thinking, what would work? Now, um, I have played around. Uh, these are called stealth mounts. I don't know if they're still made. I figured Milwaukee would sue them or something designed for Milwaukee. But what they are are little plates that you can actually bolt onto something, whether it's a flashlight or a, uh, you know, a ditty bag or an organizer or whatever you want. And then it allows the... Um, the item to snap into uh, the pack out um, holes. It doesn't stay in with a lock of any kind, but it certainly does work. Um, and so I'm exploring uh, options for those. I've seen some good uses for them, um, just mounting on the bottom of tools or on the sides of tools. But anyway, I, I, I want to talk about the ecosystem aspect of it because there are a lot of times we jump into an ecosystem. Uh, and this is a brand new independent ones. At the moment, unless you go with, like, say, the Milwaukee vacuum, there aren't a lot of tools, actual performance tools, that are um, ecosystem compatible. So this is brand new. You could be heavily in DeWalt and have plenty of Milwaukee packout. I see that all the time. You know, because the pack out got the leap on it, it started producing really good stuff right away. So that's what you bought, even if you were in the DeWalt battery system. So I start to wonder, you know, is it, is there a gateway drug that would get you into a system and then it would, once you buy that second piece, that's the key, the second piece, then you're kind of, you know, a little bit loyal to that ecosystem. So I started out, immediately got into the Milwaukee, and also was the easiest to get into. But then I've picked up others over time, including Tough Build, including DeWalt. Um, and I, I'm actually, there's a cool Craftsman tool bag, kind of a gate mouth zip tool bag, um, that's on sale um, at a hardware store in a city nearby. And I thought, oh boy, that would be a really handy bag. But it's going to fit the Craftsman system. So that's when I started thinking, how could I retrofit it? But what I'd like to get into... Um, in a discussion here, you know, add your comments, is, is there a tool or a, 
um, a container or something that they could almost be like a loss leader for the company, that if you bought that, you would want to get into their pack out system. And I'm using pack out with a lowercase p here. You know, just I don't know what else to call these things. You know, I've heard of Klein Packouts and DeWalt Packouts, so Milwaukee, you did that yourself. But anyway, um, I, I wonder if there's just something that would actually make, make it worthwhile to join that ecosystem. Because right now, um, it's, you know, I, they're all over the place. I see all kinds of different attempts at this. So it's, a, it's wide open at the moment. You know, evolution's going crazy. Every day you see new, new components or new ways of wheeling them around or attaching them to your vehicle or, you know, things like that. So, you know, how do you get somebody into it? How do you get them to buy that second piece, which then gets you that kind of loyalty to the connection system? And right now, I guess I'm looking at, um, at Milwaukee as, you know, the, just the, the sheer volume is maybe what's going to do it. But it seems like there should be something, almost a giveaway product that just gets you in the door you get a little bit of a, you know, a lean towards that system and then you run with it. Because I don't see anyone really wanting to go in and pay Milwaukee prices for a Craftsman box, plastic box. That's what most of these are, just plastic boxes. And actually feel good about being part of the Craftsman system. Um, so, I don't know. The other thing is maybe um, there's a, a company called Magpul probably wondering where I'm going with this. Magpul actually created an open source attachment um, called an M-Lock. And it's, it was, there was sort of a bit of an explosion when Picatinny rails were kind of, they ran their course and a lot of people were looking for something better and easier and faster and lighter. And Magpul came out with these ovalized openings that can be part of a, another product, but then you can, if you're an, an engineer, for another company, you can design your product to fit into that slot. And open source just means anybody can use it. Anybody can use it, I think, for anything. They just I maybe have to brand it M-Lock. Um, but there were others that were proprietary, so you had to pay a royalty to the company that owned that design. Well, maybe that's what Milwaukee should do. All they have to do is, is free it up. I don't know if they would. But if they just let anybody use their system, their connection system, you know, they probably would still dominate the market. But then other companies could dive onto it, and that would cause Packout to really take the lead uh, for good, I imagine. Um, or DeWalt could try and do that, too. I don't think it'll work as well. Um, and I'll leave with one other thought. Uh, I was, um, when I was at Lowe's a while ago on one of those trips that I mentioned in other videos, um, I did see some Craftsman pack-out stuff, and there were broken hinges and springs and latches that had snapped off, still sitting there on the display floor where people had been playing around with them. Um, so uh, I'm a little hesitant, though, with Craftsman, just simply from seeing that. Um, anyway... Let me know your thoughts. Let me know what system you like or use, or if you've got any directions, um, you know, the, to pursue. But right now, these seem pretty impressive. And with that, Doc out.